This is a Big Fact Network exclusive. Now, <laughs> <laughs> it's over. It's over with, man. Huh? All right. It's See, over. we ready. We ain't got no script. Uh, Big Bank, Erica Duchess. Perspective with Bank. I had to go get my dog. Eastside West Side Connect, nigga. I had to go get my dog, man. Eastside West Side Connect. We already did the podcast before we even... Before we even before did. They get, before they got the shit together, we just did the whole shit. I already on did. Man, Big E, man, is my dog, the queen. Yes. Ain't that what you said? Stand up queen. Yeah, the stand up queen. I'm the stand up queen. Don't get it fucked up. Please don't. Because who fucking with me? I don't know nobody. I, I really don't know. And I say that in the most humblest way. I really... I don't like every community. I don't watch everybody. I love everybody. I don't got nothing against them, but they just ain't me. So all your shit <clears throat> on the spot too, like, most I can tell. Of it. Most yeah, most, you might have a couple jokes in there, but most of your shit be on the spot. Like. Oh, off the door. I can. That's a that's that's the thing they say is um that makes me a little different because I can go off the dome. A lot of people can't do that. Mm-hmm. I can go off the dome, but I do have a set though. Oh, yeah, you, yeah. you ain't can't, yeah, yeah. you ain't see my set set. Yeah, yeah. Nah, you killed the shit show, though. Yeah, I killed the shit show. Killed it. I, and to be honest, no disrespect, I ain't seen a motherfucker yet. You killed the shit show, though. I, I ain't pushing anyone. Ah, 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 ah. You like that kind of laughing. Back to back. <laughs> I ain't seen nobody yet after that. Gun. You ain't? Huh? I mean, nah, after K- that. K Dub. K Dub don't care. K Dub before you, right? He was so before yeah, after me. that. After, I'm talking about after. Let me see who after that killed it. I gotta be honest. But you killed it, so I can't put nobody else in your life. But I'm just saying, killed. who did it after? We're going to say. Who, been, who, been, who we had? TK? He murdered it. Oh, he was before me. Okay. You remember, he came to my show. He came to the show with me. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Damn sure did. Damn sure yeah, did. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I already did my research. Oh, I, you did? I'm like, who? Who going to do this shit after Big E? You ready to run the bet? Who? You ready to run the bet? What? Yeah, I'm ready. Say less. We're supposed to be doing the hosting thing together and stuff. Man, you know how these niggas be. All right, damn, man. What yeah, the fuck? You on the road. Get big money. I can't afford I, you at the time. But you do your stuff during the week. I can't afford you at the time. Man, that was chump change. You eat that money. No, I'm saying you already booked up. Y'all not, mean, I was looking at your schedule. Not doing booked. the week. You do your shit on Thursdays, Negro. Tuesday and Wednesday. Tuesday. Something. I was close. Yeah. Yeah, nigga, I ain't got shit going on them days. <laughs> Don't play with me, nigga. I ain't got I ain't shit. I ain't let y'all do it, man. No, please, no, you ain't going. I ain't letting them pop your ass. I ain't got shit going on on them Tuesday and Wednesday. Get what? February 14th. Valentine. I most definitely got nothing going on there. My rose so sick of me. Huh? I, see, <laughs> I most definitely ain't got nothing going on February 14th. Oh, your rose sick of you? Yeah, my rose sick of me. That Valentine's Day. That bitch said, please find you somebody. <laughs> <laughs> my rose said, please I find I thought you me. had got married, though. Man, I was married. What happened with that? I, would, I was married for about six months. Stop got, playing. This, this, this is a joke. No, it is for this real. A joke. I, this is a joke. I got married for about six months, and we got divorced on Zoom. On Zoom? Mm-hmm. What happened? Because, you know, we're doing COVID time and all that, so you couldn't go to the court. So we, we was on the phone, and I got divorced. <laughs> Why? Because it's just, I just went, I just knew I was going to, we going to be wasting each other's time, and I ain't got time to be dealing with nobody. Are you playing? We ain't even been, been together a whole year. You already playing with me. What do you do? See, first of all, he was somebody that I, try, I was trying to change my life. <laughs> what you mean? You got me laugh Cause you I, I was trying to marry somebody a little different than what I'm used to. Like you what? know, I love gangster hood niggas. Like, can't read. <laughs> I love them. Nick can't spell, nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? I love them. <laughs> I do. That's yeah. just what attracted me, cause this is what I've been around my life. Yeah. But I say, you know, I'm a comedian, bitch. I'm blowing up. You know, I need to change. I need to <laughs> what you trying to get? Somebody that work a real nine to fives, and this guy had his own. I knew him from school or whatnot. At least he said he knew me. I I act like I knew him. I ain't know it. Another nigga. <laughs> I thought I married another nigga, but it wasn't that. <laughs> Yeah, that is a fucking joke. I ain't even lying. You thought you married, you thought you married no, another nigga. No, I ain't nigga. lying, man. I didn't even You thought you, he was somebody else. Like, really this ain't you, nigga. <laughs> it was two short niggas that said <laughs> <laughs> It was two 
was too short, nigga. Hey, stop playing, man. You came on here playing. No, no, This is real. serious, bro. Uh, this, we having a serious conversation. This, this we can do this is, shit when we... This show is called Perspective, and you got on your little suit. Yeah, what? so we being Pers- serious. Yeah, what this I said. Perspective? Yeah, my bad. <laughs> perspective. Okay. And you got on your suit and yeah, stuff. So, we so I know we're serious. serious. But I'm for real. I did marry a nigga... Um, we went to school together, but I thought. But she I was, thought that nigga was another nigga. I thought it was another nigga. It was two <laughs> short niggas that sat behind me. For real, one day was Devin, and the other was that other nigga night. And I thought I was marrying Devin. I, it had been about 25 years. What you mean? And then when I seen Devin on Facebook, I said, This ain't even the nigga I married. <laughs> I'm not lying. I thought I was married. Oh, so, this Bobo. What did I a, a nigga. He uh, was, I ain't going to get that nigga that kind of glory, but I married him. But I thought it was the other dude. But it wasn't even the same <laughs> dude. Because I know that the dude I married, I know his brother. His brother was real more known than he was. Yeah. Because his name, his brother's name was in the bathroom. You know, in the girl bathroom at school, we all, we had, who had the biggest digglings. Well. In school, For like real? in the bathroom, we had it rolled down. And his brother's name was on now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not dead on child. His brother's name used to be on now. Yeah. I ain't really know him like that. His name went up there? Hell no, nah, and I see why. <laughs> he he wasn't going to make it nowhere near the boy. <laughs> he was fried up. But yeah. So what you so so listen. You serious. So who fault was it that y'all got divorced? Let me see. I don't want to put the blame on just one person because I might have been a little bit too much for him. So he can say it's my fault. And I can say he just was used to a certain type of woman and thought I was gonna be that same type of woman because of that title, that wife title title and being married. He thought I was one of them women that, you know, because I love being married, but you know what I'm saying? But by the time I, I was mm, some years old, <laughs> I don't give a fuck, really. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. But I was happy that I was married. And I think he just thought I was going to, uh, that title, I think I, I think that he thought that title just meant so much to me that I wasn't going to try to like, say something about a divorce or it's over with just to keep that title. But he, he got he knew he would school me so he knew I was from Boat Rock. So I don't know if he I don't know if he thought I changed a little bit. I did change <laughs> a little bit, but I still really didn't I give thought a, you getting with him to change. I though. was. And I thought he was gonna be the man to change me. And the, being I was a real good wife. I was cooking for a nigga, washing clothes. His house was his house was like a little house on pier. No lie, no care. Like real that how he was living. But I had on Made it more moderate and um and stuff like that. However, I did. But I was a good wife. It just went. Your son don't fuck with him. A little bit. They just fuck with him. Cause I fuck with him. My son them said that she wasn't gonna last. They knew it, but what I was really daughter? trying to change, huh? What about your daughter? My daughter was kind of. She felt a well a little bit because he had other children, and I had my own house. So you just trying some shit, basically. I really like, was. let me read. You just trying some shit. I was, and I thought I was doing the right thing. Married a nigga and shit. I was a married now. I was a married now. We had went to Vegas. Yeah. We didn't do the bitch shit. I like. I ain't do that either. They hurry up and do this shit before he see the other person. So basically, that man felt that you didn't fuck with him, but you just married him. He knew I didn't love him. He said, we were growing to love. <laughs> <laughs> Man, we, this is serious. So, so how the like, fuck you get married and you not you don't love the nigga? Hey, they back in my auntie them did that same shit. They ain't really love no. They it was security. They ain't really love they, they husband like they they grew to love each other. So I thought I can do the same thing. He knew I didn't love him. He knew I went in love with him. He knew that, and he said he said he said we'll grow into love, and we were growing. Nigga, <laughs> <laughs> you ain't even the nigga I thought you were. I thought you, you were dead, nigga. I thought you were. How that song go? You ain't the nigga you say you were. I help it. Look, which I'm gonna say. <laughs> he ain't. He tricked me though. That nigga ain't. He, he tricked me though, bank. 
Cause I thought he was like hard working concrete land. Where he was? Huh? What was he? He would. You know, people have mental problems, and men. It's a lot of men that's narcissists. I think, and they don't know it. You know, know what I'm saying? Well, I'm for real. Like a lot of men that got like mama issues, strong with daddy issues. It kind of fit them. Like childhood trauma. If they, some people just don't know how to get out of it, and they bring it into their adult life because they just don't know that you know there's just life, and you're gonna experience some things and go through some things to make you the person that you are. But some people be stuck still in that childhood trauma. You know what I'm saying? And they just a lot of people. A lot of people, yeah. and they don't know it, and they just be living off living, not knowing that, not knowing what they the the pain they cause on other people and. Or, or to themselves, they just, they don't know. How and you st how you stay in the energy that you stay in though? Cause you stay in the energy. How you how you stay in that place? God, well you know God love you. You don't, I don't be worried about. I worry because I'm human, and love. I got love. Like my kids love me. My mama, and my daddy love me. My family love me, and that, I think I think it really do keep me going. And people that I don't know, certain fans that be in my DM telling me that they love me, keep going. You're an inspiration. And the lady, she just DM me and told me her little girl, nine years old, and look up to me. And I'm like, me? You don't let her see all my other shit. <laughs> <laughs> How she know me in a goddamn way? How she nine? But you know, yeah. <laughs> so like that keep me going, man. Yeah. And, I, and I love life. Yeah, I do it, and I love people, good people. Some people I don't fuck with. Nah, real shit. Like the ones I was telling you about off camera. <laughs> 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 bang over that smile, nah, bang. Nah, you got me feeling. I'm feeling the wine, and your yeah, energy is really always good. like that. Though, I don't man. know why you mind me. You you know that um that um cartoon Garfield. <laughs> You give me what that little cat name? What that cat name? We about the same age, and you know that cat. I'm I ain't Garfield. never, I ain't never looked that. You ain't watch Garfield. No, you didn't. That look. Don't start that shit, man. But y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Google him. They young. I don't know nothing about no goddamn Garfield. And you see, just said you look. You remind me of Garfield. Mm. That man that used to be holding Garfield, cause he just had that same suit like that. <laughs> but but like, did I tell you that? I said, well, I gotta get the right shit. This nigga play too much, but I had a purple one on earlier. I was like, boy, I know that they got that hair that on. Huh? She been really got that like. I mean, but you, you don't did. I mean, but you still put that shit on, or you still look good. Can't nobody take away from you. You got your little weight, got your little you no know, weird raw shit going on. No, I'm saying. Feel good. You look good. I feel good. Yeah, you do. I, I see I'm just having fun doing Every this shit. Every time I see you just smiling yeah. and shit, you a different bank from with the gold teeth bank. Yeah, hell yeah, totally different. You totally different. That gold teeth bank, you be just like them niggas that fucking up our city now. Who fucking up the city? I, whatever going on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We just talking about. Yeah, all that bullshit. You oh, yeah. Nah, I'll be I can see you on stage now. Yeah, nigga. Yeah. Nigga, shut y'all <laughs> ass the fuck up. <laughs> Fucking up my city like that, man. <laughs> Throw a locked up. Did I spit a little bit? <laughs> I meant that shit. <laughs> Fucking up our city, man. We don't need that shit, man. Yeah, that shit, though. No. Yeah, I can't do nothing to be me. Mm. So what you doing on date? Is, is you got now? So we know you divorced. Is you dating or fuck these niggas? It's kind of both of them. I'm dating. I... I'm a I'm a I'm a good girl, so I don't I don't know how to be like um, date multiple people and stuff like that. So when I get into like involved with one person, cause after my divorce, it took me probably like ten months to date again. You know what I'm saying? So I started. Are you trying to be fake hurt? Who I want fake hurt? I just well like I was really in a marriage. Like damn, I went I went, I don't think I was hurt. I was just shocked that this shit ended so fast. I'm like, damn, we didn't even make it a whole year. Nigga, I ain't get no money, no <laughs> other that shit my auntie don't be talking about they get. I ain't gonna get none of that shit. This shit is a no. <laughs> Bitch, you just get nothing. <laughs> a nothing. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> so, 
going through that or whatnot just took a <laughs> break. Like, is it me? Cause sometimes when you came it, up with, when you asked yourself that? It's me a little bit. Because I got shit myself, you know what I'm saying? Because I've been around niggas all my life. And that might be a bad thing, but then it's a good thing. Yeah. I've been around there, but niggas, so you can't pull nothing over me. I yeah. told this nigga will paint a bitch hard about the size of this, just this a whole wall right here for six months. <laughs> <laughs> I said, nigga, y'all over there painting something else over there. And he painted that motherfucker with a goddamn toothbrush. A, a pencil, goddamn. <laughs> and I asked, I said, can I come over there and help you? That nigga said, nah. <laughs> that nigga painted that motherfucker with a pencil. That nigga painted that shit with a pencil, goddamn. I said, y'all ain't done yet. That nigga told me we doing the cabinet. Now, nah, fuck. <laughs> You ain't finna do the cabinets, nigga. Hell. <laughs> nah, he ain't doing the cabinets, too. <coughs> so, after that, I said, let me just take a break and look at myself for a minute. What you found when you looked at yourself? Too much of a nigga. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you said that, yeah. Yeah, I'm too much just of a nigga. Like dude. what? Like what? Gonna like, call, you gonna call that whole ass shit gonna out? Gonna call like, it out. Yeah. Gonna call it out and how I talk. My, my talk is just so... So disrespectful. What you gonna say? Lame man, nigga <laughs> over there paint that ugly ass, bald head, bitch ass, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> nigga that been <laughs> niggas that probably been traumatized by their own parent, they can't take that type of shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Puss ass nigga. Oh my god. Puss oh nigga, I should have fought your daddy, nigga. Your daddy one with the housing, nigga. Yo, you don't own a goddamn thing, nigga. <laughs> Your daddy is monopoly around this motherfucker, <laughs> nigga. I should have fucked your dad. <laughs> and your brother name was in the bathroom, not yours. <laughs> shit like that. <laughs> Why gotta be with this fuck shit? Why is, who chose me? Like to deal with this bullshit. Why I come fuck the dad? <laughs> and then y'all supposed to be married after that. <laughs> That nigga gonna look at me after that and lay with me. He gonna be the paid all kind of house. That's that, that nigga say, line them houses up. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga had the pencils ready. <laughs> Each house was gonna take a year. <laughs> Each house was gonna take a year. <laughs> Hey, you, you, need, you need to get a check, bro. I asked myself, will you come home today? Hell no. Nah. Come home, that crazy ass bitch. Bitch calling out everything. <laughs> you bought that bitch some lunch, too. I know you had about lunch. Yeah, that's just me. <laughs> that's me. Nah, but I'm some real shit. <laughs> I'm some real shit, though. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So, do you think? <laughs> do you think a nigga have to have a sense of humor, a real sense of humor, to fuck with you? Like he gonna have to be a nigga that just like you say that, even like man, he be retarded, just laugh at you. He gonna have to. He gonna have to. That's like that would have, have to be to like. He gonna have to not. Um, I ain't gonna say take me serious, but he just gonna have to know she don't know no better. Yeah. This all the <laughs> language she know. Yeah. The bitch don't. She dropped out. Yeah. This man. <laughs> She don't know how to, she probably not a good communicator. Yeah. Or communicate the way he communicates. Yeah, yeah. This all this bitch know is to be live and direct. But you that's, fucking that's a that good bitch. thing. But that's a good thing to know that you know that about yourself, though. Yeah, I know. You know what I'm saying? Some people be trying to act like it ain't them. Yeah, they do. They do. I I, I know a cousin. My cousin right now, she is a hoe. She what is you a mean? whore. And what? And she be fucking. I'm like, but you is tell that man you you like fucking different dicks. You don't like just like his. But she like, nah, he ain't nothing. He ain't got nothing to do with that. But I've been knowing you since we was in since all our life, and you were fucking in middle school. <laughs> and so I know you just like dick. You probably be a nympho. That is a thing. Nympho is a thing, and you need to just tell him that. But. She don't think she a nympho. She just think she get tired of niggas' crit. What you think the biggest disconnect is between men and women? Ooh, that's a deep question. What is the biggest disconnect between men and women? Is emotions. 
that's the biggest disconnect because the way we take things emotionally, men don't take it that emotionally. You know what I'm saying? Like, a little bit of things trigger me, but that might not be shit to you. But since it's not shit to you, they're going to make me mad because you're supposed to be thinking the way I want you to think. Respect. You supposed to have the same perspective as me. Supposed to. That's how women feel like me. You supposed yeah. to look at it. Yeah. So, but then you just said, yeah. It's a catch twenty two. You just said you like niggas who damn near can't read. So, if you like not niggas, like that, but they no, I get what you're saying. Like hood niggas, they have good penis. You know, yeah. But hood niggas, yeah. so but you trying to get him to be a bitch? You ain't gonna like him then. Just imagine. Yeah. This is why I tell women all the time. Imagine if you got everything exactly that you thought of in your mind from a nigga. How can you respect him? Cause you basically want him to be a bitch. Damn, that's kind of deep. It's like, see, women, we we are some unpredictable creatures. That's good what you said, but that might not just be it. Like, I know. Like we want you to be sensitive to our our needs. So you gotta, so you gotta think. We women, you a man, you a giver, you a giver. We a we a um taker. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you have like dominant chromosomes in you. You know what I'm saying? Like you dominant. You a man. You give. You provide. You, you, you know what I'm saying? You made of an image of God. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He just, shh. God was like, shh, these niggas ain't going to be right. Just, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? They're gonna need a little little, yeah. little help, mate. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So they ain't gonna be able to work it out. They ain't gonna be able to work it out like they that. Need, because they need they, something to, to calm them down. Calm them down. So he created us. So we give us. So our intake gonna be a little different than than y'all's. You know what I'm saying? So men would never just understand a woman. Women, we think we just know a man. You know what I'm saying? But we really don't know. And I had to sit back myself and just like somebody I'm dealing with now, I had to look at their lifestyle and they they upbringing, just to try to really understand a nigga, and to for me to us to accept certain things from a man, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I know your background, I know your history, and boo 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 boo. I be trying, you be trying to settle as a woman, but it just I don't I can't explain it. It's just something in us. It's a good thing. It's a bad thing. For us to be like, some women can like. I think, and I think it's different in 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 the culture of us. Yeah, black women way yeah. different than white women. Yeah, and Mexican, any other woman. Yeah, yeah. Indians, we yeah. are totally different. Yeah, morally. Morally, yes. When they said the, the most disrespected person on the, on the earth is a black woman, I understand it. First, I was like, that's just why. We, why are they saying that? But now I understand it. We are a little different. Yeah. Our struggle was different. You know what I'm saying? That's why white women, they can, they easy, but they be faking it though. See, they fake it, you know, and then you see them niggas on the news like Jonathan, you know what I'm saying? Getting chased by them hoes and shit like, you know what I'm saying? They getting chased by them hoes, but them hoes been faking it. See, they know how to just comment. Yeah. Play that role for a long time, but they really ain't them. See, black women, we ain't, hey, nigga, I see you with the bitch. Yeah. See, them hoes can be on seeing you with the bitch can hold that shit for 10 years. I can't hold it. <laughs> Ain't no way. The shit in me, I seen you with the bitch. Yeah. I'm going to let you know it. Yeah. See, they can hold that shit because them bitches know that nigga finna get that raise. You know what I'm saying? Black when we like, fuck it. I'm make my own money, nigga. <laughs> fuck you. Puss the ass. Dick in the booty. You know? Yeah. <laughs> You make it sick with what you said, but that's fucked up. I make sense. Though. Some people might not understand it. That's but, your perspective, though. But, yeah. but, but the thing about it is, <laughs> they, they just put that's it That's fucked up, though. It fucked up because, and then y'all, me, not just saying y'all, when I just no, mean black go men, ahead, yeah. they be falling for it. Yeah, white white women, they know how to goddamn be submissive. They know how to goddamn play that role. And, I'm going to keep it real, though. I don't, I I never like and this is gonna sound crazy but I I never want nothing but a black woman period like just 
Period. I I can't deal with it. I I can't. I don't. It don't even do nothing for me. You know how you might see like, damn, she foreign. She did. She. Did. I don't. I like her. Like you just said that shit. Yeah. Motherfucker, that damn near. We need. We gotta fix each other. We got it. Cause that's you strong. A, yeah, that's what it is. I can't deal with that goddamn. Was you loved by your mama? Huh? My you, grandma. Your grandma. I was loved by my mama. See, you were loved by now. a woman. Though. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So you can take a little bit of something. A lot yeah. of these men just weak. I hate to say it, but they just, they weak. They can't handle that type of shit. Cause a black nah, woman. I can't handle that shit either. Well, it's plain then. I'm saying I can't handle it either, but. You can deal with it. I can't deal with it, but it's just but that what fuck? it is. Like. That just be like, that's what it is. Is that what I'm saying? Like, like. You gotta tell me because you I'm saying, you like, look, we gotta snap out of it. Basically, what I'm saying. Okay, so you saying even though that like, I, bitch, I better feel that you sorry every time. Like, you better you better do something to make me feel it. If you say the wrong shit, if she, that if you're she, sorry, that she's sorry. But the thing about it though, I said this other, yesterday. I say, if you look at it though, we only get mad because the bitch really caught well, because your chick is really calling you out. She just said it fucked up. Yeah. yeah. You did some whole ass shit, boy, and she called you a whole ass nigga. You really just did some whole ass shit. Right. That's right. You just can't take it because there's disrespect for coming out of her mouth. But if you sit back and analyze. <laughs> she right. She right. Am I tripping? No, you're not. You saying it. But no man shouldn't go for that language. No woman shouldn't go for that language. Yeah. And but what I I'm saying is. That's what it is if you put your mind, wrap your mind around it. That's true. And we need to learn how to articulate words a little better to a man. I had to I learn, agree with that. I, I had to learn that. I promised myself that I'd never call another man like a fuck nigga or pussy nigga. I said I'd never do that. You're going to try not to do that. Big, big emphasis on try. You're going to try because not to Because I, I did it for, I never called my husband out your name or nothing like that. I never did that. That's good. But when I start back messing with what I'm used to, certain things trigger you to go back to it. <laughs> go back to what part? What you started doing? To that, to that person that you said that you weren't trying to be. So why you ain't working out with your husband? Working out? Oh, nah, that was dead. That was over with. The nigga, when the nigga call the police on you, nigga, you know where I'm from. Huh? You call the police, nigga, it's over with. Why the man had to call the police? Because I wanted that motherfucking bed. Huh? You want, your, you want your bed? Yes. He had me on a blood bed for about five months. Then we in again like a big bed. So you married a nigga on a blood bed? You was in love? No, let me tell you what happened. Oh, you said y'all no, were growing love. We were going to grow in love. But let me tell you, I knew his daddy had a whole... <laughs> I knew his daddy had a whole bunch of money. So I thought there was a test. He going to see if I'm... Really down, like I'm down, but I'm want the shit that gonna come after this too. You know what I'm saying? But the shit never came, and I was just on the flow. You know what I'm saying? Cause the bed had like a little slow leak, but we end up um getting the bed. We end up getting a bed. You <sighs> feel like I he said? bought that bed for you? You want what? I'm saying? Yeah, I wanted to keep the bed because I stay. I was on the flow because it had like a little slow leak. And that's the only thing I wanted out that marriage. When the police came, who who got the bed? I got the bed. I got that bed. That was after the divorce? Mm-hmm. Well, no, no, no. It was like doing like during the course of the short separation. So it was already over, right? It was already over. And but I just wanted the bed. And so we just going and then you know, you go file for a divorce and then you have a court date. So the bed the bed was like the final straw, that nigga bitch. Oh, he was a hoe. He was a real hoe, but he tried to call the police, but you know, the police couldn't lock me up or have me go off the premises because we were married. We were still legally married. Yo, he but he tried called to, like, the police. take her to jail. Yeah, he wanted them to take me to jail because I pulled up over there and all that type of shit. Somebody, and, yeah, somebody else over there? Yeah, the one who, that house he was paying. <laughs> or penciling. Oh, that house he was penciling. <laughs> <laughs> she was over there, and I caught that shit, and he called the police. So, but can you blame the nigga though? You know the nigga, that you ain't fuck with the nigga. So, how you, can you blame him though? Like, yeah, now looking we back in. We were married. It so, don't what, even what, what, like, what, a piece of paper? You didn't love the nigga? Hold no. up. The nigga won your tight. First of all, he won Devin. His name went on the wall. He was not Devin. Was, that was saying, like, but hold you up. playing games, no, man. No, 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 no. I kept it real all the way. How? 
Because I told this him I didn't love him. Because I told him I did not love him, and he knew it. So I'm saying. So he married me in a way. Hold up. Okay. And I was devoted to that marriage. How? I was. What you mean how? You saying because you didn't have sex with somebody else? No, no, no. No, I was going to grow into love. I was ready to... <laughs> I was ready to grow in the love that he said we were going to have. Why y'all just say grow into love before y'all got married? We did for four months. We courted for like four months. And then just fucking married. That's what he said. He said we're going to court for these many months and then we're going to get married. And I got married. That nigga need a green cloud or some shit? No, he was just lame. Then I found out he bought pussy and shit. I was so mad at myself. <laughs> I was so mad. Man, but listen, I'm trying to get to the point of how you not going to feel like this man was going to do all this shit. Cause just because y'all went it. and went to goddamn Vegas and got married. He said it. I'm sticking to the plan. We had a plan. <laughs> I'm sticking to the what plan. What the plan was? Growing to love. But were you growing into love? I was. I how? What you do? I was, first of all, I was not fucking around. You know, I ain't never been a cheater. That just... That shit just in me. I'm just always been a lawyer girl or whatnot. But I was doing the married thing. I was doing all the things I was supposed to have been doing as a wife. That's what, that's what make you grow into love. You know what I'm saying? Doing doing things that a married couple was doing with somebody that you know you don't love, but you you learning that person. You trying to figure them out and all that. Like but married already? Yeah, and we were married already. That was just secu to just out, security shit. Yeah. Secure, and I felt good about that because it was different. I'm not having sex, you know what I'm saying? Like, what's that shit when you? Uh 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 uh. When you be having sex with, and you ain't married, what they call that? Um, whatever that word is. When you having, and I was doing, you know what I'm saying? I was with my husband. You know what I'm saying? So I was trying to do that right that thing. That nigga wasn't your husband. He. Well, now I know. He won your husband. You won his wife. You didn't even love him. He, he, it was secure when he said that. I know I didn't love him. You just did some shit. You didn't. But why? He, he was the one who said he was fucking with. He can't bother with me. I was minding my own fucking business. Now he in the world. He wanted to marry me. Told me we gonna do this and do that. And I never told him I love him like that. He like we gonna grow into it. So did you find out he won Devin before you before you married him? I went on Facebook. I wasn't into Facebook. He is like a Facebook nigga. You know, I'm Instagram. He was like a Facebook <laughs> nigga. Then I went on Facebook, and I seen Devin. I said, this Was ain't, that before or after y'all got married? It was after. I said, this ain't even the same nigga that sat <laughs> behind. I thought that was little Devin. I really didn't even know this uh, nigga. Yeah. His last name rung a bell. Mind you, I ain't been in school in 25 some years. Yeah. But it was his brother. How, where he saw you at? How you meet him? Where you meet him? My at? um, my best friend died. My best friend died. And you know, we all went to the same school and he came to the repass. And we clicked in. He was just so in love and shit. I was like, Ooh. and he bought me a ring. I said, oh, ain't no nigga never bought me no ring. So you just fucked them and tried this. Hell yeah. And I wanted some security. I'm on this road with a bunch of men. I wanted that security. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But he still, he, he couldn't. That nigga didn't really believe in my <laughs> dreams either. <laughs> <Didn't>. <laughs> How you know, E? How you know? Because he asked me to be a bus driver. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Oh, my God. <laughs> what? He asked me to be a motherfucking bus Wow. A school bus driver. <laughs> hey, 
Damn. <gasps> what? Why? I said how? <laughs> okay. You so said you, why you was already got there out there. Clay. So Lie. You, we get money. Not yeah. yet. Mm -mm. Clay ain't came along yet. Oh, you still fuck with uh, my boy? Uh, uh I went with Barbie. I let left Barbie. Why? I'm gonna get back to that. But go yeah, ahead. Yeah, come back to that. Um, but. I'm just out here, but I'm still into comedy. I'm still, Erica, I'm still getting booked, still, but you know, the pandemic came. So that's when me and him really started kicking it during that time. Yeah. So I wasn't getting booked shows the way I used to get booked. You know what I'm saying? So shit had them slow down. But I still had that yeah. goddamn, what that unemployment shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I had all that shit. And, um, or whatnot, so you know, I'm just sitting around the house. So he said, <laughs> he came in with like the little thing. He said, well, well, maybe you need to be like a bus driver, um, because they make their own schedules and stuff like that. And you know, you can have a two hour break, and in the summertime, I said, what? <laughs> you want me to drive a big ass bus? <laughs> You couldn't believe in me. You wanted me to drive a bus? <laughs> Not model. Yeah. <laughs> Atlanta public school bus? Badass little nigga with a pistol. And <laughs> yeah. You really wanted me to do that? I couldn't believe he said that. I was just in shock. I like, he don't believe in me. This nigga asked me to be a bus driver. Where they do that at? Damn, so that was, that was another red flag. But that was before or after y'all got married? That was, all this was after we got married. Oh. And then he was talking about he was going to take care of me, called my dad, told my dad my, he was going to take care of me. And my dad, you know, my dad, um, my one thing about my dad, my dad is Billy Stinchcomb. My dad is is worse than me. Well, come up, come out. My dad asked the nigga, he said, oh, you trying to marry her because she a comedian? You think you think she going to blow up or something? What, what's your purpose of it? No, I love your daughter. Then my dad said, oh, you paying taxes on your house? Yeah, my taxes paid up. He didn't even own a house. His daddy let him stay in the house. His daddy is the one who got all the houses. Oh, you should have fucked the daddy. <laughs> you told the nigga that? And his dad had a big dig lane from where his auntie, you know what I'm saying? But anyway. You told him that though? Mm hmm What you tell him? I said, I should have fucked you. You don't even know nothing about owning no house. You never had shit. You ain't never had shit. You tricked me in this shit. <laughs> I thought you had your shit together. You tricked me, nigga. <laughs> your daddy got this shit, man. And how I find out here, his daddy was arguing. Daddy said, I. Get your shit and get out. Get out of what? <laughs> Dad found out that he don't even own that house. His dad own that house. I said that should have fucked him. <laughs> nigga, you irresponsible, nigga. You don't trick me, nigga. <laughs> you married fish, me, nigga. Oh, married fish. <laughs> you ain't even the nigga I thought you were. Yeah, he ain't that nigga I thought you were. I thought you were Devin. <laughs> oh. I really thought you were Devin. Man. Man, they can't even There were two short shit. niggas in my, the set behind me. I thought, oh, they, I thought he was shit. Devin. So that was your only time you get married, right? First time. Well, you really you do it again? Yeah, I do it again. Because I'm, I'm a, I'm a lovey-dovey girl. Yeah. I love love. I'm so lovey-dovey, like. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I be wanting. You know, everybody trying to go in they soft girl shit. I want to be soft. Yeah. I've been so hard, like, forever. Forever. I raised all my children by myself. I got three kids. Two boys, one girl, one son in the army, one in college. My little girl, she the shit finna graduate. I did that mama shit. I, that shit is, I did it. I mm. want to be soft. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But... These niggas be making you, you gotta be, you gotta stand, you gotta stand on being. I don't wanna stand on being, nigga, I wanna float in a boat. <laughs> 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 you feel like I just want to float in a boat. I don't wanna stand on no more. Take me off my feet, nigga, where you at? Where are you? Damn, I'm tired of standing up, standing on being. I don't want no 
cold, nigga. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't want to stand on bed. I want to float in a boat. Me and shit, though. I want to be soft, man, but it's just so hard. But is it That's so why hard? we telling what, what women, not not just black women, white women be going through this shit. We, they just probably don't publicize the shit the way we do. But they are a little more greener than we are. See, you know what I'm saying? They green. <laughs> why don't niggas like them hoes? You, that, oh, babe, I made the crap. I'm shooting craps and god damn, I gotta get my money. You don't get your pussy ass <laughs> in the house, <laughs> nigga. And help me get these motherfucking kids up for school. What the fuck? <laughs> you know, some cool. shit like that. <laughs> yeah, I get what you're saying. But they don't like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's a, it's a different, you know, they know how to just deal <laughs> with it and just be a little submissive. I wanna be submissive, but just don't play with me. What's playing with you? Lying. Lying. But and you know you, us women, we know everything. All right, before okay, but what about when a nigga try to tell the truth? Can you take the, can you take a nigga real truth? Sometimes. That's what I'm saying. That's the whole thing. Sometimes. So if I came to you with my true truth and you couldn't take it, now I know how you react to the truth. What am I supposed to do? But how long? But did you tell her the truth off the real? Don't don't yes. reel, don't reel me in, and now you want to start being truthful and shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that nigga do it. You, that, that dick rip you. <laughs> you don't gave me any good ass dick. So you know I, you know we we here now. Yeah. This is, nigga, we together. <laughs> we all together. Yeah. So now I'm in love. You know I'm feeling you. And nigga know when to be feeling. Now nigga try, try to tell the truth. Now you want to tell nah. <laughs> nah. 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 Now I'm this person now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Cause what? Nah, tell me off the real. Is you you like multiple women? Do you do you are you truthful? Are you faithful? What you what you think? Can you be with one person? You gotta let me know off the real now. Okay, let me ask you this. Is you is you tell a nigga what you want off the real though? Probably not off the real. Not like that, but I'm eventually let you know that. No, no. No, we be going along with some shit. Cause we be thinking we can deal with it, and then when the penis good and all that, cause I, I I was just I was in a situation like that. Nigga probably kept it real with you, kept it one hundred with you. Probably told you, I got fifty female friends. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I got one right here, man. Uh, <laughs> hey, then what happened? <laughs> I'm like, okay. Cause you know you on your high, yeah. I'm glad. Yeah. Being real with me and shit. And then y'all kicking it, y'all vibing, y'all doing y'all thing. He don't told you what's up with him. Yeah. Or whatnot. But now, you know, as women, we get attached. We get a little different than a man, cause men kind of simple minded. I told the bitch I got 50 friends. <laughs> Shit. Y'all just still being who y'all was yeah. 10 years ago. Yeah, yeah. But now you got somebody. Now she she digging you or whatnot. Now she just want, uh, we territorial. I, I want you all to myself. All to myself. Tell them hoes to go. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Nigga <laughs> <Like, clears throat> be like, why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> nigga, it's me. Like, why? Like, you know? <laughs> Tell them bitches go. Like, bye. Like, but you know, he accustomed to his lifestyle. This is just what he doing. But now you over there, you don't, you don't, you don't feel in love. You know what I'm saying? You got your feelings all involved and stuff like that. But he already told you 
who he is, right? But men be trying to play games too. They be knowing what's going on with this woman or whatnot, but they'll try to make her, still try to make her happy, but still live their life too. What you mean? Go ahead, break it down, go ahead. Okay, I'm, okay. This is life. This nigga, I already told y'all the real bitch. I got 50 holes that I call every day. But you over here <laughs> in love. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I like, he might like her. Yeah. And it might be different from what the friendship that he had with them. Yeah. This totally different. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And he don't told, told your ass that shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But you, you so used to being with one nigga. You been married. You on, you not used to a nigga that got 50 other females that he she got to share him with. So you like, no, nah, nigga, some got to change. You know what I'm saying? But you can't be mad at him because he already been keeping it real with you. But why you want to keep on continuing doing this shit with me? You know what I'm saying? But us women, we don't know how to just... When you get attached to somebody, it's kind of hard to let it go. And so you just go along. You still be going with it, but you still be mad. But they already told you off the rip what was going on with them. But us women, like they say, you sometimes you create your own storm. Delusional. Delusional or whatever it is. In love and just can't see past what they already told you. You see what I'm saying? And the man... And Sometimes, like, with me, I'll be like, just leave me the fuck alone. But they really fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? So now you just, I don't know what this shit is called. It's not even an entanglement. There's just some toxic shit going on. Because you want to be loved. You want to be in your But don't soul. women know, but, but nah, that's real shit what you're saying right there. Yeah. Like, nah, you just broke that down. But don't women know off the rip before they hit them with the okay that they, they, they this ain't even me. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just digging this nigga thinking that it's going to change once. Once my feelings change, we put our feelings supposed to change at the yeah, same time. At the same time, but he, he, this nigga been this nigga since he was fifteen years old, bitch. Uh, well, us women, we women, we are warriors. Like we are, like you know, what I'm saying every woman think that we think we is that bitch. Especially me, I, I am that bitch. You got to train, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But you got to, they just want a woman, period. You know what I'm saying? We want to be that woman, you know? But we we get ourselves caught up in them situations, and it, it be a situation ship. Because he's still who he is. He love you. He fuck with you. But he is who he is, and you can't but, change but, nobody. But, but after... If he stand on, man, I'm going to get out around the crazy bit. Is he a fuck nigga now? You might say it at that time, but yeah. he really just been who he is. Yeah. He really ain't no fuck nigga. Bitch, you is the fuck bitch. <laughs> <laughs> because the nigga told you he got 50 friends. Yeah. But you thought something going to be a little different. You know what I'm saying? And then we be trying to change a nigga. You know what I'm saying? We do. Because we like, nigga, you been doing this shit 50 some years. It ain't got you nowhere. Grow like, up. Like, what, like, grow up. You don't want a real bitch. Nigga, bitch, bitch got motion. Bitch, oh, bitch, 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 they ran through, nigga. They look, they look, can't nobody say they had Big E. You don't want that. But sometimes it's like them streets. Them streets, you know what I'm saying? Your lifestyle. Nigga, lifestyle, they just accustomed to it. So that change is different from somebody. Yeah. See, sometimes I have to put myself in a nigga head. I don't want to. Especially when you deal with the nigga that been in prison or jail or some shit. I don't know what he told himself them seven years he did time. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I had to go that deep because with the niggas I fuck with and shit like that. This nigga probably did a life sentence and shit. I don't know what he said when he was locked up and did that time looking at them wall. He probably like, man, when I get out, I'm going to fuck every bitch. Or, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Where his... Where his Outline, what his outline of life yeah, 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 or his yeah. mindset. Yeah. And I can't get mad at it because I ain't been through them walls. I did fucking five hours. Hard time in Cobb <laughs> County. Hard time, five hours. Hard time. <laughs> Hard time. Them motherfuckers didn't even give me no coffee. I asked for coffee. Everybody laughed at me. Because they had milk and juice, orange juice and water. I said, excuse me, can I have some coffee? Everybody laughed. You, you know what I'm saying? I did. So I can imagine me going through that for five hours. These niggas doing five years? 
behind some ball like this. I was sick when she gave me that suit. She was like, she called my name. She was like, Erica, um, it's time for me to book you. I was like, shit, for a show? <laughs> 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 shit, for a show? <laughs> the fuck going on? I said, my cousin on the way to get me. You ain't even got to give me no club, bro. <laughs> That bitch said, you passed the time. I said, hey, I can stay right here until my cousin come. That be like, nah, you got to go. That suit make you feel like it's over with. It was over with. And I got the shoes, the little zip cross shoe. I said, this ain't my life. And then it was a bitch in there. She was on a, like, I had my own little bump, and she was on other bump. But she had put some books. She had a, some towels, and then she had put some books on top of her towel to make a curtain. So you couldn't look down at her bump. She just did like this. She said, what you in here for? I said, I'm here to fail you to a pill. <laughs> I'm here to fail you to a pill, bitch. I said, what I'm you in here for? Hey, bitch, I'm here for robbery. Robbery? Bitch, I fail to a pill and court. You don't fail a robbery? Why are we in the same place? Where you the Cobb? Cobb County. Spinal Joy, they had me up there. Um, what the? See, I did know the number hard. My spirit told me don't remember the numbers no more. So, so what? What you think? Um, I remember when we had you on Big Fast. You was you speaking on like um, just how how the girls is these days and how the boy, the dudes is these days. Is you want to speak on that? Yeah, we can speak on. What you think, like? That got us fucked up. What you think got us fucked up as a people? Social media. Yeah, me too. Social media got us fucked up, man. It, and it's so. It, I be looking up. I be looking at the world and people. I be like, this shit is so fucked up. It is. And I understand. Sometimes I go back to the scripture when he when the Bible said, "Don't get caught up in the ways of the world." I see why. He was already, I tell people all the time, a lot of people have their own pers perspective of the Bible. I just look at it as, um, I use it as an acronym, basic skill, basic instructions before leaving earth. B-I-B-L-E, basic instructions before leaving earth, right? That's all he was trying to just put you down. That's all the people before us were trying to just put you down mm -hmm. and tell you what we're going to be going on. And I see why they say that. Don't you go, don't get caught up in this shit. Because when you get caught up, you fucked up. Mm -hmm. Somebody was telling me the other day, oh, it's 2024, you got to do this. I said, hey, I don't move in the ways of the world. I ain't moving like that. I'm still going to be me. Because mm -hmm. I see what it's doing to the other people. I look at all them folk going through, what they going through, got their life up down on this phone. This is a device. Everybody want this attention from this phone. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? People going, this lady just went to Texas and shit, thinking she finna blow up and bitch homeless now. Wait, why did you go out there? What you mean? She, 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 you know, like a lot of people come to Atlanta to chase their dream. Though. They do. They do, but you got to have a real good plan. <laughs> <laughs> Especially when you got kid, bitch. And she was just rolling around with some bologna or some shit. Like, what? Some bologna? Yeah, like, what? What's that song? What happened? Yeah, it went viral. Like, where you thought you were going to go with this bologna? I ain't lying. What's she trying to do? Just, like, do some skits or something? It's just like comedy. Sometimes these comedians, give me a little more of that. Sometimes these comedians, when you get that one little laugh, it do something to you. <laughs> That one little lad. That one little lad do something to you. What you mean by that? Like in my in the comedy world, let's say you you doing your jokes or whatnot. Crowd really probably not fucking with you for the first five minutes, but that seven minute come around, you get a little giggle. Oh, they like me. And they get caught up. You go to fiending that. for that. They be fiending for that. And that I think that what happened with her. I think that what happened with her. But anybody, you get them little views yeah. and them comments. Yeah. Oh, bitch, they love me. Let yeah. me go wear these panties everywhere. And 
in your head you think you can blow up because you probably don't seen somebody else blow it up. No, nah, that's real that. shit though. No, nah, that's real shit. What you saying is, is like it get addictive. Yeah. You go to chasing that same, them same numbers. Like if you come out and do, you go viral. You you, you do a um, hundred thousand on the post, two hundred thousand, whatever. Me. Yeah. Now you want you want three minutes. So now you just going outside of yourself chasing that shit. Chasing it. You think that's your calling? That is not your calling. <laughs> That is not what he told you to do. You think that's your calling? You think that's your calling? It's it crazy, man. You nah, just, them facts you gotta, you gotta be strong, you know what I'm saying, out here. Because it's so easy to get caught up. That's just in this world, period. Even, I, in, everybody got their own world. You got your world. Like me, I'm in this comedy world. So when Cat William came out, that was nothing new to me. It's old new. We all know that already. In the comedy world. You saying no what he was saying. What he yeah. was saying was true or false? Yeah. Oh, eighty five percent was eighty percent was true a lot and then the other twin will probably like a Exaggerated, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's just the comedian world period. Eighty five percent of my set gonna be fat, but fifteen I might exaggerate yeah. it because that's just the art of comedy. Yeah. You putting them in your world. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It is all that there, but all the stuff that he was saying, it ain't nothing new that yeah. we don't know about. Yeah. We know niggas that steal your joke. I know a nigga just stole my joke. Been doing comedy for years. But you went on the um Heart of the City show and stole my joke. And you just seen me do that joke. That's Came tough. to me and dapped me up and said For the joke. That shit hard. That I'm finna steal that. Fuck. When the nigga do that. It's gone. Damn, that's cold. And yeah. try to do your shit in front of a bigger crowd before you. Yeah, because they think that you beneath beneath them. Damn. Oh, so what you, what do you do in that situation? I call the nigga tell them I'm gonna have my fucked up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but <laughs> 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 nigga stealing my joke. That's just like you short stopping in the trap, nigga. Yeah, yeah. And you know them my plays. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But I had to learn how to be different. Yeah, with you got to be different with these comedy shit. niggas. Yeah, cause they'll get in the room before you do it, and then I already have people in that room looking at you crazy. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, but no, I got right. God. When I see you, when God got you, man, you just be like, okay. Yeah. God yeah. don't put me in a room next to a nigga that stole my shit. He put me. I thought I'd never see this nigga in my life because he was California. God put me right next to him. That nigga didn't even say nothing about my spirit. I've been saying my spirit told me since I was working at Avis. Huh, you say what now? My spirit told me that's my little tag. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. my yeah. thing. And somebody stole that from me. But stole it, you know what I'm saying? And try to run with it, make their own little thing of it. When they was at the comedy show, I did at Sweet Lounge. And all I did that whole night was just... People were, so, were laughing so hard about me. So, oh, my spirit told me you did. This. My spirit told me the whole, I did the whole room. Stand ovation. And he was there. Didn't think I'd never see the nigga when a window with him. He did a tour of my, my spirit told me. God put me right next to him. I thought I'd never see this nigga a day in my life. See how God worked? You think that nigga say anything with a motherfucking M in it? No. He didn't even say nothing about my spirit, and he had a whole book it's called that. Like he knew he took it from him. He knew it. That's why God put me right there next to him. See, folks, everybody got their own. Everybody, everybody goals different. I don't know what no the next comedian goals or what they want five years from now out of this. You know what I'm saying? I know my purpose different. I never did want to be the, no comedian. I never wanted to be a comedian. This is just something that I, I this is a gift. People already told me, you were funny at work. At my old job, they were like, girl, you funny. You need to, you don't need to be on nobody on oh, um, workplace, man. You need to be on somebody's stage and shit like that. Like a lady who don't even laugh at nobody. She was a militant lady. She, she be walking around ready to write your ass up. She said, hey, baby. Let me talk to you. I said, damn, I'm finna get fired. I got another write up. She said, no, nah, baby. I just wanna tell you, you funny. You need to be on somebody's stage. 
And when that lady said me, told me that I went and did come the next the next day was shoulder to shoulder. No lie, no cap. Yeah. Five five minutes set, standing ovation. What you did? Did you practice for it or you just went up there? I just went up there talking about that young nigga I had just got finna fucking with. They were laughing. Them folk love that shit because it it's the truth. People love realness. Yeah. And real life stories. Yeah. And it was true. I was fucking with that little young nigga. He was 30 um, or 20 something years old. And that young nigga had me fucked up. Had me babysitting his grandma. <laughs> Baby said they grandma. Yeah, yeah. All day. My own I had left my own kids at home by themselves. What kind of game you to gave your younger self if you got to talk to yourself before you had kids, before you jumped out of the pool, what would you tell yourself? Believe in yourself. Know that you the shit. When you feel like you don't belong in a in a certain crowd, you really don't belong in that crowd. Not because you less than, it's because you God got a plan for you. You don't supposed to fit in. You different. Yeah, yeah, stand out. You stand out for a reason. Cause I used to think that I used to be like, think cause where I'm from and how I talk and all that. You be thinking you less than, mm -hmm. but really they admire you. Mm -hmm. God put me in a in a workplace where all these people that got these degrees, they talk so studious. I said, you know what I'm saying? I said, well, how did I get this job? But he did that for a reason. Mm -hmm. To show you that ain't nobody better than you. It don't matter where they come from, what they got. Parents, I, don't, none, don't none of that matter. Mm -mm. You is special for a reason. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I learned that and I thank God that I went through that so I can tell it to my daughter. You know what I'm saying? Because she going through that now. But if I didn't go through what I went through, she wouldn't know that. No. No, that she's special. So now that I know, you know, she ghetto. Yeah. I used to work in a real corporate place with Carl. You know, I work in the Avis, but I was like a in the corporate building. Mm -hmm. I was like, anybody want Lincoln? Anybody who want Lincoln Town House? But it wasn't Lincoln Town House, it was Lincoln <laughs> Town <laughs> Car. <laughs> anybody want Lincoln Town Car? Lincoln Town how? They like, who hired her? And then they used to print out card, print out little cards with your name on it. And you're supposed to pass it out to the customers, you know what I'm saying? To go to their spaces to get their cards. I'm pronouncing names the way I see it. <laughs> what you say? <laughs> <sighs> hey, I put, I read how I say the word, you know what I'm saying? The shit said. N to me, it said nigga Naja. <laughs> it's a German word. I thought it, it said nigga. Nigga. Mr. Smith, Mr. Real, Mr. Nigga Naja. <laughs> man, that man snatched that. He said it's Naja, no, right? Naja. <laughs> they lied to me. That shit say nigga. That shit say new. Uh, I ain't lying. My coworkers will tell you that. They talk about that still to this day. I say that shit say nigga, bro. And then they try to teach me how to talk. God know what you're doing. Yeah. Um, you know, you just write them white for critical. I say decline. <coughs> he says, my card is not a decline. I said, sorry, they say decline. So my my um, manager told me she said you don't say decline you say insufficient insufficient funds that's what you say yeah so um this customer came she said decline right now but I know I put say insufficient I said hey this is hey insufficient insufficient, <laughs> insufficient. <laughs> uh, hey this hey bro it's, Yo, shit, it's, insufficient. it's insufficient bro. <laughs> Insufficient. <laughs> yeah, I love you to death. Hey, lady, say, come here. <laughs> I love you, Dev, and I think you're so special. Thank you. I do. I think you're so special. You got to come back. I'm going to come back anytime you want me. You want my phone? I'm turned down by two talk shows. When are you doing your shit? 
I'm finna get my, you told me to call somebody right now. And yeah, get it yeah, go get it started. Let go do your shit now. I'm finna do you it got right your logo now. And shit? I want to talk about this Atlanta shit. I'm finna just go and tell them. You finna go online. You finna go online and do it. Hey, throw a lot up. Sid already fucked up. We fucked up, man. Oh, man. Yeah, I love you to death, man. I love you too, man. <laughs> Thank you for having my crazy stuff, man. Nah, you ain't crazy. You, you know, holding that shit up. You saying that shit in there with it, though. They get it. 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 <laughs> it was dope.